Okay, so we got a lot of pods, you know, containers. Yeah, here, we ran out of space. And, uh, you know, with pods, there's like uh, two kinds. Of course, you got the ones uh, with the hole in the bottom, which is the lift point. This is where they bring the forklift forks and lift those up. And, of course, you can uh, use these holes for, you know, securing the load with a strap or with a chain. If you have a chain, of course, you can put the chain right here, the chain hook, drop it, bring it up, bring the chain back, hook it up to the other side, and, uh, you know, bring your binder, put the binder right here on the chain and tie it down. Or you can do what I just did here in this case and use the straps, which is very good and very solid. I never had a problem with this uh, way of securing the load. Of course, this, This is the one in the front. This is the front container. And on this one, I, I like to do one of these. Here's a strap. And here is uh, the container. And of course, the strap is holding the container back. This way, in case, God forbid, you gotta hit the brakes. Uh, this one doesn't fall into the catwalk. And of course, this one is, is gonna sit in place and it's holding the rest back. For the most part, this load is pretty secured as is. And uh, yeah, we just put the strap just in case. Larger containers, and some containers don't have uh, lift points, like this one got a lift point, this one doesn't have a lift point. So you do one of those. They want you to twist the straps, but you don't have to. They want you to twist the straps. This way, it doesn't flap. And of course, there's chain hooks on the bottom as well. If you want to, you know, uh, tie down, if you, uh, tie down hooks, tie down point. If you want to put the chain right here, you could hook the chain here, drop it, drop it down to the other one, and use a binder to uh, secure the larger ones. You can use chains or straps on all of them. In my case, I like to use straps. I've seen guys that use chains. I don't know. And then a lot of people tell you you need like four straps, five straps on one of these. This is 16 foot, the rest are seven foot. I don't think so. I don't think so. Anyways, so here you go, you got seven, a seven foot, uh, we got four seven foot, four seven foot containers, and one uh, 16 feet, 16 foot container. And as you see, this is how secure. And let me show I can put all the set to show you. You hook the hook here. So you bring the strap. By the way, I'm gonna see where's this thing here. I have this. I use one of these here. You gotta make your own, or I don't know. What is this here? This is like a hook. This is how you reach for the strap. You put it here. Of course, you extend it. And you know, you hook the strap to it and then you bring it back. I made the, uh, this one like yesterday, I think. Yesterday or the day before yesterday. Here. It's all wires, wires. Something that your grandfather maybe used to do back in his backyard. A little <laughs> innovation. Uh, but very helpful. Of course, you could use a broom if the broom helps you, or you could just make your own. Of course. Okay. So, yeah. So straps or chains uh, can be used on the pods, and uh, you know, make sure you tie down the straps pretty good. These are pretty tight. See, zero movement. They're holding the containers down. I mean, the containers. You know, they're they're. Look at this one. Yeah, this one is not gonna. Oh, this one's pretty tight. Yeah. Okay, pods. You know they pay usually two bucks a mile, two dollars per mile. We're in California, by the way. So coming out of California for two dollars a mile is okay, right? Okay. 
See you next time.